Hi, it's Paris Mepic Review Guys, and I've got a shower in desperate need of cleaning. So today I'm trying out the As Seen on TV Deep Cleaner, Zap. Epic Review Guys. In their TV ad, they say Zap cleans not only the surface, but down deep, and that's what I'm in need of. This set goes for $19.95, and I'll put a link to it down below this video. Now, it may certainly just have been bad luck, but I did want to show you the packaging when it arrived to me like this. Obviously, the thing inside has broken open and leaked into the package, so there's probably a very clean mail truck in our neighborhood. Now, I was willing to say it might be bad luck, but when I opened the package up and saw that these liquid bottles were packed like this with no wrapping or anything inside, well, I found the culprit. The lid of this bottle wasn't on straight or it came loose during shipping, and that's where it all leaked out. When I placed my order, they were having a special where they would double your order for only an extra $7 in shipping and handling. So I did that. So I have two bottles of each of these types. Now this is the Zap Professional Restore, two 10 ounce bottles. This is the stronger stuff, I guess, because this is called the Zap Professional Maintainer. Two 10 ounce bottles of that. Also, two of their special scrub pads, which look like the scrub pads I would buy at the supermarket and one sprayer. What was missing from the package, unless maybe it was dissolved by the leak from this bottle, is instructions. So you just have to go by what's on the back of the bottle and they do say different things. This uh, maintainer says to spray it on and leave it for 10 minutes and then wipe it off. The uh, pro restorer here says to leave it on for one or two minutes and scrub it off. So I don't know what the difference is in the chemical or if the difference is mainly whether you wipe or whether you scrub. And Zap says it works on porcelain, ceramic tiles, shower doors, sinks, bathtubs, white grout, and caulk, toilet bowls, fiberglass, and acrylics. Now, you got to pay attention, though, to what not to use it on, and they do recommend that you test it before using it. Do not use it on natural stone, marble, wood, fabrics, painted surfaces, and wall coverings. And on the bottles of Zap, you're also cautioned not to use this in conjunction with other cleaners, especially bleach or toxic fumes may be created. Now, in my house, when you go into the bathroom, there's always the expectation that you may encounter toxic fumes, but there's no sense in creating more unnecessarily. So let's head over to the bathroom with this bottle that they sent to me so conveniently already opened and get spraying. Okay, it wasn't too hard to find some grout in the shower that needs some cleaning. So I'm going to take as a sample test here this first square, this section of grout right here, spray it with Zap and give it the several minutes to soak in and then come back with their scrubber and clean it and see how it looks. Of course it is going to run down off the wall. That's the best I can do. I'm going to leave it for a few minutes and I'll be back to scrub. Okay, I'm going to take this um, scrubber that they provided. Looks a lot like the scrubber I would buy at the supermarket, but let's scrub with this and see what happens. And with a minute and a half of scrubbing with the zap, this is what it looks like. Now that grout is stained and I don't think that stain's going to come off. What I'd like to compare now is I used the zap with this, let it soak in and then scrubbed it with their provided sponge. This block right above it, I wanna just put water on this and try it without the zap, just with the sponge and see what happens. Just get it wet, let that soak a little. And then I'll be back to scrub it. Okay, I've let the water soak on this. I'm gonna try cleaning it now with the very same sponge. I've rinsed this out and no zap, no soap, anything. I'm just gonna see what scrubbing with the sponge will do. I scrubbed this section for about the same amount of time that I spent scrubbing this section. This with Zap, this with just water. To me, they look pretty similar. 
What I'm going to try now on this next block up is I'm going to just put zap on it and let it soak for like 10 minutes, come back and just rinse it and wipe it off and see if just having the foaming zap on there will change this appearance at all. Now, of course, it runs down the wall on a vertical surface. The liquid doesn't tend to stay there to get as good a chance to soak in. So let's go, how about um, over here? Here's some more grout that's stained. I'm going to put zap here and just let it sit. Come back, rinse it off in 10 minutes, see what it looks like. It's been more than 10 minutes since I sprayed zap onto this section here. And I don't see that it looks any different. I'm gonna splash some water on it, wipe it off. Okay, this was zap, waited two minutes and scrubbed. This was just plain water and scrubbed. This was put the zap on, waited 10 minutes, didn't scrub it all, and just wiped it off. But as I said, spraying it onto the wall, um, maybe it doesn't work well because it does run down off of the wall. It may not stay on there long enough to soak in and do its thing. So I've sprayed it on some stained grout here, and I'm going to rinse it off now. So no scrubbing, just the zap on there to soak. You can see what it looked like 10 minutes ago. You decide how much it improved. Try one last test since maybe the grout was the issue there. This is just plain plastic shower floor. Half of it I'm going to spray with zap and then scrub. And over here I will scrub without any zap. We'll see if there's any difference. Spent a minute scrubbing the right side there with zap after letting it soak in for a couple minutes. Since spent a minute scrubbing this side with just the sponge and water over here on the left. The zap side is definitely cleaner, somewhat cleaner for having soaked for two minutes before scrubbing. So that was my experience with the zap cleaner. Now on some surfaces, it may make a very large difference when you've sprayed it on, let it soak and scrubbed it. I didn't see so much different in the um, bathroom, especially on the grout. But then again, maybe the grout is just stained and nothing is going to change that color short of taking all the old grout out and putting in some new grout. Cleaning the shower though, that is what I got the zap for to try out is to see if it could get the shower clean. If you're interested in zap, I'll have a link to it down below this video. I'll be back soon with more reviews, including the Poopsie Daisy, which I ordered a while ago, but it hasn't arrived yet. And I haven't figured out quite how I'm going to do that review. You can keep checking back for those videos, or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, we give to a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our